You want to be wise? You want to have some understanding on how to live skillfully? Get to know God more and more. Be in His Word more and more. I know it's not always the easiest thing, but you've got to start somewhere. I'd, uh, I'd maybe encourage you. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give you an opportunity to be in the Word. You're going to have to do this on, on your own. This is a, a homework assignment. But I, I brought up Job earlier, so let, let, let me turn to Job. Job 28, 28, if you're a note taker. Very similar to Proverbs 9, 10. Job is the first book in the portion of Scripture known as wisdom literature. So it goes Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon. That, that, that's wisdom literature in the Bible. Job uh, 28. Man, the, the beginning of Job. This, this is your homework. You wanna, I, I want you to read Job 28. I'm going to give you some other stuff in a little bit. But uh, it just talks about all the amazing things that man can do. I was just talking to, I think it was Sean and Jason before. I was uh, bragging a little bit about my athletic prowess and how fast I am. And that was all a joke, of course. <laughs> uh, but I was, I was at uh, SDSU's football game yesterday, and I, I looked across that field, which is 100 yards. It was, you know, it's a pretty good-sized field, 100 yards. And it's not even 100 meters. 100 meters is more. And there are people on the face of this earth who run that 100 meters in less than 10 seconds. They are somehow running 10 yards in less than a second. And it made me think I would love to witness that someday. But that is amazing, the things that people can do. And Job 28 talks a lot about the amazing things that people are able to do. And then verse 12 asks, but where can wisdom be found? Where does understanding dwell? And I think the answers to the question is, well, not in the heart of people. It doesn't naturally come out of man or woman or children. Sometimes maybe the kids, <laughs> if we're listening. They have a way sometimes <laughs> of perhaps communicating wisdom that we need to listen to. And then verse 28 of Job 28, uh, the fear of the Lord that is wisdom. Now you can't, you know, that, that, that doesn't have, yeah, you've got a part in it, but it, it, it's about God. The fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to shun evil, well, that is understanding. So here's your homework. The two main portions of the Old Testament, and then I'm going to give you one in the New that Talk about wisdom. So this is an opportunity for you to read about wisdom and then meditate on wisdom. Take some time with it and then pray about wisdom. And I'm also helping you by saying this. I'm helping you get into the Word, which I know some of you struggle with. So Proverbs 8, the whole chapter, premier chapter on wisdom, much like it is Job 28. Premier chapter on wisdom in the Scriptures. And then 1 Corinthians 1, 18 to 31. 1 Corinthians 1, 18 to 31. There, there's your homework assignment. Now you go read about wisdom. Like I said, read about it. Spend time doing it. Meditate on it. And then pray about it.